Cane toads are an invasive species. Generally speaking, this means they're an exotic species, not native to Australia, and they have a large impact on our native wildlife and plants. Our cane toads, they actually came from Hawaii, but generally speaking, cane toads come from South and Central America. Cane toads were introduced to Australia to fight the cane beetles. So cane beetles, they live on sugar cane. Sugar cane is farmed from North Queensland all the way down the coast. So cane toads, they were introduced to try and eliminate that problem. Of course, this didn't work at all. Cane toads are a large problem to our native wildlife and your cats and dogs. Cane toads are toxic at all life stages, from eggs to tadpoles, metamorphs, and to adults. Cane toads compete for food and resources with our native wildlife, and cane toads usually come out on top due to their large numbers and ability to produce thousands and thousands of them. Cane toads are highly adaptive, and they're able to fit in with their environment wherever they are. If you're out looking for cane toads, you'll usually find them around dams, drains, around your dripping air conditioner. You can find them in mulch heaps, um, at the base of trees. You can find them in your dog's water bowl. Yeah. So one of the important things when it comes to looking for cane toads is the ability to know how to identify them. You can identify a cane toad through several features. It's important when you're handling cane toads to wear gloves as they have toxic glands and that poison can get all over your skin. So cane toads can be identified through several features. One of them is the brow ridge above their eyes, this bony ridge here. The second is these glands on the side where the toxins come out. Cane toads have a mottled belly, really rough skin. And cane toads have the front feet are unwebbed and their back legs are webbed between their toes. There are quite a few native frogs which are sometimes misidentified as a cane toad. We have a lot of small brown frogs. Cane toads, they're brown as well, aren't they? So make sure when you've got a cane toad or a suspected cane toad to go through these features and be sure it is one. If you've gone through all these features and you're still not sure if it's a cane toad, just leave it alone. Cane toads are really easy and fun to catch. All you need is a pair of gloves, a head torch, and a bucket. Once you've caught the toads, it's really important to euthanize them humanely. First, you put them in the fridge for 12 hours. This puts them into a torpor, which is a kind of semi-sleep and then you put them into the freezer for 48 hours. This completes the euthanasia process. Yeah. They can then be disposed of in the red bin, composted, or buried. It's really important once you've caught the toads to register them on feral scan. Reporting them on feral scan allows us to keep an eye on population sizes and their movement. So let's get out there, catch some toads, and have some fun.